This is really typical chlorotoid in thin section. Um, very high relief. Uh, blue pleochroic. Um, and it's got normal pleochroism, so when it's running east-west, it's darkest. When I cross the polars, you'll see it has very low interference colors, and you can see some twins in there. The whole crystal does not go extinct all at once. Chlorotoid commonly has a lot of inclusions in it, usually quartz inclusions. A couple crystals of chlorotoid again showing that high relief. A blue pleochroism, and they, they seem kind of cloudy because they have a, they're just filled with little quartz inclusions. So when I cross the polars, you'll see um, that same sort of twinning, um, uh, that sort of bluish interference color, and then you may see some little dots in there. Those are the quartz inclusions. Chlorotoid can form these mats of crystals. This is a, a whole clot of them, uh, more or less randomly distributed. You can see some chloride. It's coming around on the right just now. It has low relief, um, and it's green. Um, when you cross the polars, chlorotoid and chlorite can look a little bit similar in, in cross polars. They have kind of, in some ways, can have similar interference colors. Um, but the pleochroism and the relief are distinctive. Here I wanted to compare chlorotoid, which is in the center, with storolite, which is coming around to the top, the yellow crystal. They have virtually identical relief, and they're often found together in the same rock. So what is particularly distinctive about them is that one is blue and the other one is yellow. Otherwise, they're, they're kind of similar in texture, although storolite generally doesn't have the twins that um, chlorotoid shows. This last shot of chlorotoid is to show what it looks like when it's deformed. Now you can see high relief, the blue to sometimes a little greenish blue pleochroism. But when I cross the polars, you're going to see that it has this sweeping or undulatory extinction. Uh, it doesn't all go extinct at once, and, and that's because the crystal has been bent. Um, it's very similar to the behavior of kyanite. A kyanite also shows this same kind of behavior when it's deformed, and that's also distinctive.